just enjoying my chai tea latte and honestly just showing off my Sanderson sister mug because I love it. And if you missed my fall haul video, then here is a part of that, that haul. And I love it so much, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. Today, I'm here to talk exclusively about my trash, my beauty trash to be specific. I got lots of goodies in here as far as makeup, skincare, hair care goes, a bunch of empties. And I have to say, I'm really proud of myself because my last empties video was only three or four months ago and I put it in my mind that I will make sure I finish some products quicker than, than previously. So three or four months, I got a bin full of trash to show you guys, to share with you. Now I've mentioned it in my previous empty videos, but I'll say it again. I love empties videos because I feel like you get a real feel for how somebody feels about something once they finish the entire thing and they have to ask themselves, will I purchase this product again? Or am I done? Am I, am I ready to try something else? Or do I never want to see it again? So that's what we'll be talking about today. By the way, if you are new here, my name is Ashley Ellix, and I would love it so much if you consider subscribing by hitting that little red button down below. And everybody who is subscribed, please take a moment to make sure that your bell is tapped. That way you get notified allegedly when I post more videos, which is three times a week, all beauty related and all cruelty free. But Enough of the formalities. If you are ready to dive in to my trash bin for beauty products, then you're in the right place. And all you need to do now is sit back, hang tight, and keep on watching. Be with a little, little boop. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna grab stuff as I go. So let's firstly talk about the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. Okay, so first of all, I was sent this in PR. When was that now? I wanna say at least six months ago. So this lasted me quite some time and I've almost exclusively been using this. I don't use it every day cause I don't do full makeup every day, but oh my goodness, I love this cleansing balm. I will a thousand percent be repurchasing this. You can get Good Molecules products on Beautylish and it is such a great cleansing balm that removes all my makeup, a waterproof mascara, all of that, but it doesn't leave a weird oily residue on my skin that some oil-based makeup removers will leave. This one is so just clean, but not stripping. It's just like the perfect balance and I'm absolutely in love with it. So thank you to Good Molecules or whoever you are for originally sending this to me because <laughs> I am addicted now. I will a thousand percent be getting this. Okay, I'm not gonna harp on this too long because literally they're in every single empties video and I only saved one this time and it's a little funky, sorry. But it's the Schmitz Bergamot and Lime Deodorant. The only thing I wanna say about this that because you know, if you've seen my videos, it's like, okay, we get it. You go through this deodorant a lot. I do go through these pretty quickly, but I wanna mention that this is my favorite smell, hands down a thousand percent. The Bergamot and Lime is my favorite. Now it's official because they were doing a sale at Target, again, probably like six months ago, where it was like buy three and get like a $5 gift card or something. So I bought three different ones and I got coconut pineapple, this one, and I went back to the jasmine tea one, which was the very first one I used from Schmitz. And it's like, they're fine, but I love the bergamot and lime smell. And that is the one in particular that I feel like keeps the, you know, natural scent, putting it lightly, at bay. Bergamot just really neutralizes it for me. And I think that can be different for everybody. Some fragrances will help, you know, complement everybody's scent a little bit differently and maybe neutralize it differently. For me, bergamot and lime, that's where it's at, okay? So I'm gonna stick to that. Now I have the other ones to finish, but it'll just be, it'll just be that one from now on, except Native just came out with the pumpkin spice one, so I might get that because I have a little bit of a problem, uh, addiction, I should say. Next, we have the Viral Purple Color Wash. This is my second one of the travel size. Again, I don't use this one consistently. It is a purple toned color wash to help kind of maintain either purple, if you have purple hair, or platinum or lavender, but if you're gonna use it for platinum, like I do occasionally, you have to use it ever so sparingly, and I actually just mix it in with my purple shampoo. I kind of started not doing it last month because I noticed my color was just kind of grabbing too much to pigments and starting to look really dull. So what I've been doing to actually brighten my hair and keep the tone less golden is I've actually gone back to a Paul Mitchell purple shampoo that I was using that has like a brightening aspect to it. I was using a Mika purple shampoo for a long time and using this one every now and then, but I started noticing last month that I was just having a lot of color buildup, almost like toner buildup, and I just needed to like switch it up. I think our hair kind of gets used to stuff, you know, eventually, and we kind of need to switch things. So I've been happy with the Paul Mitchell one. I 
won't repurchase this one. I originally got it the very first time. The first bottle I went through was when I was purple. So I liked that and then I just kind of incorporated it the second time I got it and I was, I was desperate when I repurchased this one. So it is good because it is color depositing, but I just don't see a need for it unless I went back lavender or purple, you know, because it's just, it's too much, too much for my hair. They have a whole bunch of colors though. And uh, if you're looking to maintain like reds or even greens and all those fun colors, check out those viral color washes because they are legit, okay? They're not just like a little hint of toner. They are like, pfft. if I put that and left it on my hair, I'd be like straight up lavender. Yeah, you get it. We'll stick to another hair care product. So this is the It's a 10 Silk Miracle Conditioner. So I really did enjoy this shampoo and conditioner set at first first but as you can tell I have kind of fine hair I have a decent amount of it but it is fine in texture so uh, there are some smoothing products and silkening type of products that I can use and it won't weigh my hair down and it's fine but others it does start to weigh my hair down this was the problem with this line it started to not get a build up but my hair just started losing its bounciness and it just started getting more flat it kind of was a bummer because it felt so hydrating and silky but it was getting like borderline having to wash it too much and i'm not here for washing my hair more often than i need to so after like a couple weeks of using that set it was just getting to be too much for my hair so i just went ahead and started using it for my daughter's hair now my daughter's only five and she she was four when she was using it but she has still kind of like that not baby hair but it's still kind of fine but she has a lot of it and it's very wavy curly depending on the products that I use but like those like softer kind of curls so not like a tight ringlet so oddly enough this didn't weigh her hair down but it just wasn't giving like enough hydration enough detangling and that's really what I need it for so we finished the bottle but I've already switched her to something else I would still grab this out of her shower every now and then and do it like kind of mask as a treatment so every once in a while that conditioner was fine and I wanted to love it because it smelled so good but alas it's just not gonna work for me you know I hope my empties videos aren't too repetitive because we already got a deodorant repeat and now a mascara repeat but that's just so you know how much I really like it this is the covergirl exhibitionist mascara and if you're new to my channel you don't know how much I love this mascara so I'll tell you really briefly especially for the people that have like already heard it a thousand times but I love this mascara I can get it for I think it's like $7.99 at Target Ulta it's a little overpriced unless they're having a sale but I love it. It replaced my other high-end brand favorite, which was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because it has that same type of wand, this better curl lift kind of to it, that hourglass shape. So I, I love it. I, I already repurchased one and I'm probably halfway through that already. So I'm going to be continuing to use it. Nothing has replaced it in a year and a half. Has it been longer? I don't know, but I like it. Tea break. Mm. It's pumpkin chai tea, by the way. I make chai tea with the little tea bags and then I do some pumpkin creamer and I heat it up and mix it up and oh, it's so good. So good. Now the r &Co Vicious Strong Flexible Hold a Hairspray. So this is one of those products that the more like I got closer to finishing using it, I was like, I don't know. Do I like it as much as I originally thought? I do really like a couple specific things about it. Okay, so it is a strong but flexible hold, which means it's not like gonna be like helmet hair where it doesn't move ever. It's really nice for when you wanna curl your hair and you still want some movement to it, but you want it to like keep the curl pattern and help it to stay. And also it's not sticky or too wet to the touch. It's very dry to the touch when you apply it. It doesn't work well for when you wanna do like a slick back ponytail or something and like really, really keep something in place and you want that super sticky sticky hairspray. It's not like that. So I do like a lot of things about it, but it retails for $32, which is a lot for a hairspray in my opinion. I was originally sent this in PR, so I don't know yet, but it's too late because I already finished it yet. So I'll have to think on it. I'm sorry. I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I do really, really like it, but it's that price point that's holding me back from getting another one because yeah, but it is good. And I see a place for it, a time and a place. But Moroccan oil one is good too. But now it's been like a few months since I've used my Moroccan oil one. So now I don't even know, do I like this one as much as I like this one? Cause I really, really, really liked this one when I was first using it. And then it was just like towards the end that I was like, okay, do I like it? What's going on? And yeah, 
Sorry, it's good, but 32 bucks, I don't know. Speaking of Moroccan oil, I have another mini dry shampoo in the light tone shade. I've talked about these ones a lot. I need to stop buying the travel size because I ain't traveling anytime soon. And I do really like this one when I have my roots touched up because this light tone one has a bit of a purple tone. And for some reason, the toner always fades from my root area the most. So this helps kind of add a little bit of that purpley tinge and you know, we, the white and it just, it looks really good. So I like that, but not only that, I just really like the cleaning aspect of this dry shampoo. It is my favorite dry shampoo and I have used so, so many. In fact, there's a couple that I'm just trying to force myself to get through, but I'm not enjoying it. This one, it feels like it cleans really well. It is a little bit powdery, but not like too much. It's just a perfect amount that you actually feel clean, but you can still run your hands through your hair. I love it. Again, I've talked about it so many times in my empties videos, but I'm, st I'm still a fan. If any of my lashes pop off, just ignore it because which is one of those days, okay? <laughs> okay, here's another empty. It's a little deluxe sample, but I think it's worth talking about. It is the Sugar Rush Cake Butter Body Whipped Body Butter. I think I talked about it in my Ulta 21 Days of Beauty thing where I was telling you not to get this. So just to recap, I don't like this because I feel like it's a superficial moisture when it goes on your skin and it, it quickly evaporates and you're left kind of with nothing. This deluxe sample size in most products, I, I mean, it's a body butter. I could probably get two uses out of. I got barely one use out of this. So I know that jar I would burn through so fast because I'm so dry and I need so much moisture. So I know it wouldn't be worth it. It has a nice smell, but you know, honestly, if you're spending that money on like a name brand high end type of body butter, I would go with the bum bum cream. That's my favorite or any other ones that actually feel like they moisturize. That one, not so much. Ooh, let's talk about some Lush products, okay? So sorry, I kept the bag just so I could remember things. And then I also remembered last night that one of my products was missing, one of my empties in here. So I don't know what I did with that. But let's start with the Peach Crumble Bubble Rune Bubble Bar. So this is that little peach one. It was lovely, oh my goodness. It was so nice, so silky on my skin. When I got out of the bath, my skin felt so moisturized. What you do with the crumbles from Lush is you actually, you know, you take it and you crumble it under the bath. It says to use the whole thing. Ain't no way I'm using that giant thing. It was like this big and it was like two together and has like this creamy stuff in the middle. So I actually just broke it in half. I could have done it even smaller because when I tell you my bathtub filled with bubbles, it was such a rich, luxurious water. I don't know how in the world I would use one whole one and I have a really big bathtub. So half was plenty, maybe even a third, but that would be kind of difficult. Maybe a quarter, but then you might not get as much richness as you might like. I will a thousand percent be picking another one up if they're still making it. I thought that I've seen it recently, but you know, they just came out with their Halloween stuff. So let me see if they have any more. Yes. Yes, they still have it. Okay, so I'm gonna be probably picking up some Halloween products and fall launches from Lush, maybe doing a fall haul with that. And I will pick up another peach crumble because I loved it so much. Like I said, my skin felt so moisturized. It felt so rich in the bathtub. Some of their bath bombs and bubble like your bubble bars or whatever. They're fun to use and it's like exciting and you feel like so bougie and stuff, but you don't really like see any after effects really with them. At least I haven't tried all of them, but some of them that I've used, it's like, well, that was fun, but you know, it's $7 for a fun bath experience, but you're not left with any skin loving qualities. This one, on the other hand, when I tell you I'm dry, I'm so dry. This one felt so silky on my skin. It also smelled a lot nice like peaches. So I'll be buying that again, sorry. They're funky, but this is the empty package for the Coco Loco shower oil. Now this was a naked shower oil, so that's why it looks all funky because every time I use it in the shower, I'll go and I'll stick it back on to like let it dry so it doesn't get ruined in my shower because I have like a glass case of emotion showers and it's just like ugh, suffocating. So I have to take it out. I hated that, okay? I hated the Coco Loco shower oil. Now I don't know if something was wrong with mine. If you've experienced the naked Coco Loco shower oil, please let me know if this isn't normal, but one of the reviews that I saw on Lush's website said the same problem they had with it. When I ordered this last Lush order, I was ordering myself a little Mother's Day care package and that was included. Some of the products did melt in shipping, so I don't know if this was a problem with it 
melting and re-solidifying, re you know, that issue. But basically my complaint was it's like a bunch of tiny coconut flakes coming off on your skin as you're using it which maybe it's supposed to be somewhat exfoliating or something. I don't know. I saw no benefits from it. And I was under the impression with the shower oil that it would be like a super moisturizing oil that you use in the shower. I love the body conditioners, but it was also like kind of a little bit sudsy, like a wash. And then when I read it, it did say, so I missed that when I ordered it, that it's a bit of a wash, but you could use it either way as like a shower oil after you cleanse or as a dual purpose. I didn't like using it either way is my point. I was really disappointed in just the experience of using it and the fact that my skin did not feel moisturized at all when I finished using it. So I would love to try more shower oils. I've heard one of you guys actually suggested in one of my Lush videos. Now I forgot, I'm sorry, but if there's a shower oil that you suggest also, I need to go back to that video and find out what it was. Let me know. I am super dry. I think I might be sticking to body conditioners for now. Oh, one more Lush product I almost just forgot because I don't have the empty of it, which is very weird, like I said, but the Yog Nog Body Wash. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, if you haven't seen my Lush videos or heard about my obsession with Yognog, I freaking hope they bring back Yognog this Christmas season because I love it so much. I finished a whole eight ounce bottle of it. I was kind of wondering when I purchased it, should I get the 33 ounce? Cause I loved the scent so much in the store. I'm glad I just got the eight and a half ounce because I think it's eight and a half ounce. It's oddly specific, <laughs> but I'm glad I got that size because that size lasted me from when did I buy that? I bought it when it launched. So probably November all the way through beginning of summer, May. That lasted a pretty long time. Now I wasn't using it every single wash because I would alternate between different washes because that's just how I am. I don't like to use the same thing every day, but it was a lot that I would use it because I was obsessed with the scent. I think, I mean, towards the end of it, I was like, okay, I could take a break. That way it feels like fresh again when I do get it. I think if I got the 33 ounce, I'd be like, okay, like I'm done. I don't need it next year, but keeping it at the eight ounce is what I would recommend. That way you could like, you know, you know, keep it special. Yeah. Going back to hair care, here is the Sun Bomb 3-in-1 Leave-In. It's like a UV protector slash detangler slash hydrator. Like I talked about earlier, my daughter's hair tangles really easily and it's even down to her waist. So I've been on the mission this year to find the best detanglers for her hair because the poor thing, it's just like no matter what I do, I braid it at night and then even still it'll get, you know, it just comes out of the braid and it's just... It's beautiful and it has a mind of its own, but I need to tame it a little bit and make her life and my life a little bit easier. So I've tried so many this year. This is the one that's been working the best. I had it in my sun care bag and I was like, you know what? I remember I used to use this as my detangler. So let me try it on her. And it has been working beautifully. They have a product from Sun Mom that's actually, I believe it's called a detangler. I haven't used that yet. I'm curious to try it, but I feel like because this one's so strong is why it works so well for her hair. So it's one of those things, do I wanna try it when I know something works pretty well? It's not like gonna fix it a thousand percent. I still have to use a wet brush. I still, like I said, braid it at night. I do everything I can to prep the hair, but of all the spray conditioners that I've been doing, spray detanglers, this one has been the best. So if you have that problem with either yourself or one of your you know, little ones around you, try this one out, see how it works. Also, it smells freaking amazing, like summer, okay? This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is the, I guess it's travel size of it or half size even. I have bought so many of these now in my history of using makeup. I love this stuff and I love the original lip injection. I am to the point that I am like scraping the tube now. The interesting thing about this Lip Injection Extreme is it's actually an AM and PM type of lip plumper, which basically means you can sleep with it on, which is what I do. I actually leave it here on my nightstand and I put it on right before bed and I sleep with it. And I do find it really hydrates my lips. It's not as in, uh, in my opinion, it's not as insanely tingly as the regular lip injection is. I use the regular lip injection like during the day, add it with liquid lipsticks or glosses and stuff to get that juicy plumpiness. This one is a little bit of a thinner consistency. I don't find it as burning, so I can sleep with it comfortably on. However, I do wanna say that I'm very, very used to plumping lip products and I love them and I try to purchase them as my glosses. I'm gonna 
be repurchasing this. The only thing I'm not rushing to is they just recently launched Maximum Plump or Maximum Pout lip injection, something. It's supposed to be even more than this one. So I might try that one first, see how that goes. And I might be going back to this one. It just depends, you know, but I've really loved it. I can't even tell you how many tubes I've bought over the years. The only reason why I have it as a travel is because I got like a little set that came with the full size lip injection and this is a travel one, but yeah, I love it. it still lasts me a long time. Another product I'm not gonna harp on too long, but it's the Jan Marini Siesta Serum. So I use exclusively the Jan Marini skincare line for my face products as far as active ingredients type go. Not including makeup removers and just like some fun like masks or under eye patches, but like as my daily serums, moisturizers, sunscreens, cleansers are gonna be from Jan Marini. I love that line. I've talked about it before is the thing that gave me the best results. The Siesta Serum, I feel like has really helped with my hyperpigmentation and helping to brighten up all of that, especially on my cheeks. I'm noticing I'm having to use less and less concealer before applying my foundation. I've had other empties, but I just wanna talk about this again because I really like that Siesta Face Serum. I love it. It's so good. I, I'm so happy and so grateful that I started on that Jan Marini line. So this is, I don't know if this is empty, but it's done and I gotta throw it away. So let's talk about it. It's the Bare Minerals Bear Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. Poor Bare Minerals is like a brand that I feel like nobody ever talks about. So sad. I actually really enjoyed this foundation when I was able to use it. It's gone bad because I kind of forgot about it too. And it was kind of just sitting in my drawers. And when I went to use it, I was like, something ain't right here. So... I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it because it's one of those things. Now, what was that, two years ago that I was using this consistently? I loved it then, but do I like other things more now, you know? So I can't even get a sample anymore these days. I was gonna say next time I'm in Sephora or Ulta, I'll get a sample. You can't do that, I don't think. So I might have to bite the bullet and try it again one day. I've also seen these in TJ Maxx and Marshalls a lot. So maybe they're phasing it out. I don't know if it's worth it. I did really like it. So if you are looking for a mineral based foundation that is full coverage, this is like the best foundation in my opinion that Bare Minerals ever made. It was like full, full coverage and it was comfortable and it was a nice like natural matte type of finish. So you know, it might be worth a try for you if that's what you're looking for. I'm like talking myself into it right now. I don't know. Ah, uh, it's one of those things. Do I like other things more now? Is it worth repurchasing? I have to see. It's not worth it for me if they're gonna discontinue something because then if I show it to you guys and use it, then you guys will be like, well, we can't buy that, so shut up. <laughs> so, I don't know. So these are some nail empties, all right? I think that's the first for my channel, showing nail empties, I don't know. But this is my first bottle of the Orly Gel Effects Builder in the bottle empty that I have. I've already repurchased and almost used up a whole second bottle. I've been using this system for, I think it's been over a year now, off and on, not consistently, but I really do like that system. I have a few videos on my channel. What they are though, is a gel extension. You build up the extension like a fake nail, kind of like an acrylic, but it's made with a builder gel, which is like a strong gel. You paint them and everything. Now I'm on the end of my second bottle. I haven't repurchased my third bottle yet because honestly, I just don't got the time right now. I've talked about it in my videos, the kind of nails that I would do that were very intricate and long, it would take me about three hours to do a full set and I don't got the time. I think as many of you can relate, even though we're at home, I got a daughter that is on 100% online in kindergarten and that means that I'm a teacher now and most of my day is spent doing that. I barely have time to film, let alone spend three hours on a nail set. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna be picking this up probably anytime soon. Basically, I'll just wait until she eventually goes back to school one day and then I can have more time because I did like how long I was able to get this set to last. But I've since moved over to doing like the pre-form, they're not pre-form, they're just like the clear nails I get on Amazon, but they're full cover and I do some glue put it on and then I paint them however I want. That is so fast. I mean, less than an hour, I have a full set. So I like the ease and the quickness of that. The only problem with those is they tend to pop off a little bit more often. The gel effects, I was able to get it to a point where they were adhering so well onto my nails that I would only get like a nail popping off one or two times in the time I was wearing them. And when that would happen, I would use the Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glue. What I liked about this is it's a dropper and towards the end of my set, sometimes they would start to lift, you know, right at the base and I could just drop a little bit in, press it down and then I'd be fine. And that's how I got the set to last so long. I mean, also every once in a while when one would fully pop off, I could just put it on and then, you know, stick it on. But 
I need to see if there's a brush on one of this, and I'm sure there is, because I liked that formula. It was super strong. Whatever formula I got for this last, the new nail system that I'm doing is not good enough, not strong enough. So I will be repurchasing that, when both of those, whenever the time comes, pun intended, whenever the time, whenever I have time again. Um, but definitely a brush on version of this Kiss one. It was really good. Last, but certainly, certainly not least. We got the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I have to be careful opening this because I did smash it at one point. It is empty, woo -hoo! wow, I did it. It has been a long time since I was able to finish like a press type of product or even like a full size, I mean, other than mascara and some lippies, a full size face product is really hard to accomplish. But I think that's because you probably don't get very much of this. <laughs> I love this powder, okay? The Bye Bye Pores Press Powder is beautiful at smoothing out the pores, kind of smoothing everything out, little fine lines, setting everything in place, but it's not overly matte. It's not too drying. It's just really nice. It's not gonna be dewy, but it's just, it's just nice, all right? I've talked about it quite a few times. I use it on the regular and I've already repurchased another one because I was able to get it on sale again, which I love. Once you pay half price for something, it's hard to want to pay full price for something. But either way, this is a product at this point that I would repurchase at full price because I love it so much. I shouldn't say that. No, keep putting it on sale. But you know what I mean. It's around 30 bucks, so it's not cheap by any means, but I do really like it. And since I've gotten the second one and I still enjoy it, that I'm not gonna be like buying backups of it, but when the time comes, if I'm completely out of it and there's no sales in sight, I'll definitely be repurchasing it. And unless something else comes along that I like better, but it's one of those products too that's like, it's hard to see hard to see something coming along better you know what I mean I tried the elf one and I didn't like it so we'll see so that is it for my beauty trash all my beauty empties for the last three or four months like I said I feel like I did a pretty good job I'm curious to see what I'll burn through in the next three or four months again hopefully I can do that consistently again put my mind to it I gotta burn through some lip products you guys I gotta do a lip declutter <laughs> You are gonna be so embarrassed for me when you see how not organized my lip department is and um, the fact that I told you guys that I would do a uh, figure out an organization situation and I never did. And that was six months ago. So <laughs> that video to come. Thank you so much for watching my empties video today. I know it's always a little bit weird to watch people go through their trash, but thanks for hanging out. Before you go, if you aren't subscribed yet, please hit that little red subscribe button down below. And to my OG fam bam that's already been hanging around, come get social with me over on all the social media channels like Boop. Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest even, Facebook, all those places I am at. You can check me out at Ashley Alex on all of those. But that's it for today. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope that every single one of you, every single one of you, you, hey, Hey you, I know times are crazy, but please have a good, freaking, awesome, wonderful, beautiful day.